Hi there! Welcome back to the Conductors Podcast. Happy end of June, and welcome to the sixth edition of the Conductors Podcast Wisdom Series, a new series full of shared life experiences and, of course, wisdom. This series is aired on the last Monday of each month, and in each episode, I'm going to post a question to ten musicians, conductors, or business gurus. So, including myself, you will hear all the goodies from a wide variety of people. That's called the Wisdoms series. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The question that I'm asking my people this month is: What's your favorite self-care practice? Okay, I am totally guilty on that because I'm not used to programming self-care into my calendar. I am the typical Asian mom, <laughs> the tiger mom that you would probably,、um, yeah, probably have seen on TVs. I'm just always in Chinese. We say I'm just always rolling from one project to and the next, from one thing on my schedule to the next ten things, and and all that. So. I am very bad at taking care of myself. While I do have some time blocked for my mind to to relax, usually by reading some really cheesy, <laughs> crappy Chinese romance novels. That's how I let my brain rest, in a sense. But I am really curious to see what my friends have to share. So let's take a listen. And the first person sharing her favorite self-care practice is Dr. Julia Bormanis, and she is currently assistant director of bands at Rutgers University. And in episode number thirty-one, she talked about how she overcame barriers as a women band director. My favorite self-care practice is sitting. I'm looking at my couch, sitting in my spot on my couch with. A blanket over me, with my two cats on top of me, watching TV until I literally cannot find a show that I need to watch anymore. Self care. People are like, "Oh, take a bath, go for exercise, walk, hydrate." No, I'm sitting my butt on a couch with my cats for like 48 hours. That's my self care. And if my husband is next to me, bonus because. That's like our time to just like, and I will watch things on TV. Or if we've had a day, I was like, Adam, I need to watch something really stupid, so that I don't have anything else intellectual or big ticket concepts. I can't. I'm tapped out, and we'll watch like the stupidest like reality TV show ever. Or if like I want to like just have a good cry because my day has been that day. I was like, I need to watch something really sad. So you probably, Adam, want to go upstairs to your studio and like play around with your toys because I'm going to be crying on the couch here. But it has to involve TV, blanket, my spot on the couch, and my cats. The next we are hearing from Kristen Roach. She is an opera conductor and coach. And in episode number twelve, she talked about family and career and how she made some choices earlier in her career to accommodate her family schedule obligations. Podcasts currently, but that has varied. And for me, it's. Really fun to be a guest on one because I love listening to them so much, and it's why I started my Tolkien podcast with my friend Mel in Australia. But I think we spend so much time with musical sounds that I find it difficult to listen to music as a self care practice. It always feels like work, and it doesn't matter what style of music it is. Like my brain is just going at it. So whether that's reading a book or listening to an audio book or a podcast, I also love hand work. So I do crochet often while I'm listening, and I love to cook, and that's also hand work. So it's this sort of repetitive tasks. I find that very centering, and、uh, also yard work. I love me some planting and digging in the dirt, and so those are those are my favorite ways to take care of me. Next, we'll be hearing what Dr. Kiernan Steiner or Dr. Kiki has to say about self-care. She is a decolonization consultant and choral conductor. And in episode number seventeen, she talked about how this decolonization journey helped her find and be more connected to her own body and her voice. These days, my favorite self-care practice has been playing my ukulele and connecting with. 
my Hawaiian culture through playing a new instrument and singing the songs that remind me of my humanity. The next one is Tiffany Chan. She is a freelance opera and orchestra conductor, and her episode number four, "From Fear to Courage," is one of the most popular episodes on this podcast. I think it's learning it keeps me humble and keeps me. It keeps challenging the beliefs that hold me back or lead to poor emotional and mental hygiene and. I think that's something that I've never thought about as a self-care practice. You know, just learning about things I didn't know. So that's what I think I like to do the most: is just to read and to listen and to talk to people, so that I can learn more about what I don't know. Next, we'll be hearing from my good friend, Dr. Emily Cole. She is a composer and also on faculty of, of course, composition faculty at the University of Georgia in Athens. I'm a foodie and I love eating, so that's one of the things I don't compromise on. I like to eat really well and eat all the foods that I like to eat. My next guest is Margaret Flood. She is founder of the Frost Young Women Conductors Symposium. Right now, currently, it is going to spin classes and just being outdoors. I was a runner pretty much my whole life. My body can't handle it as much, so I take spin classes instead, and they're a lot of fun. I live in Central Florida, so I spend a lot of time in the preserve and walking down what they call Alligator Alley, where all the gators come up and sunbathe, and they're literally just feet away from you, which scares the crap out of a lot of people. But it's a preserve. They're well fed. You're not going to bother them. They're used to seeing people around. So I spend a lot of time just saying hi to my gator friends and going on hikes through the preserve. My next guest is really exciting, and she is Susie Sider. She is a film conductor, and she also specializes in conducting orchestra pops. In episode number twenty nine, we discuss a lot about the systematic gender bias in this industry, and it was a really good conversation. You know, self care is so important, especially when you're a mom. I think you kind of become more focused on it because you're focused on taking care of other people. But right now, I'm writing music to a Netflix series. I'm studying scores for a show, actually four shows in May, and I'm orchestrating a movie. So I run. I do like 15 minute runs twice a day. It resets my brain. It keeps me healthy. It keeps me happy. And it's time to myself too. So I run、uh, sort of in like a woodsy area. So that's part of my self care, and I do that regularly. And it helps me just physically, also just stay in shape, but mentally as well. And then I get monthly to biweekly massages too, just to treat myself. My next two guests are Ashley Killam and Carrie Blosser, who are co-founder of Diversified Stand. And in episode number twenty, they shared how they started this commissioning project and everything you want to know about commissioning. If you're interested in, you know, like putting your stamp on a new work and helping to shape the future of the repertoire. I live in the Appalachian Mountains, so I am easily able to. Drive and go hike. So definitely hiking and baking. I have a sourdough starter named Danny Dovito that has lasted a year and a half and is still going. I really like hiking. I really love the mountains. There's not many mountains in Chicago, so I did a lot of walking. So spending a lot of time outside, walking around because it's free and cheap, and it makes me happy. Last but not least is Stephanie Havey. She is a stage director, works a lot in the opera theaters as opera director. And in episode number thirty-two, she discusses the life and collaboration with conductors, of course, in opera houses. My favorite self-care practice is getting out into nature. I read this book, The Artist's Way, and it talked about. Giving your artist brain opportunities to sort of refill, replenish, and so that can be like consuming art, but it also can be just getting out into nature. And I find that in order to be creative, you have to sort of have a moment of stillness and quiet, and get a get away from screens, <laughs> and and let your mind just sort of run free. So I like to get out in nature. 
as frequently as possible. That just sort of helps me reset mentally. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I hope that if you are like me, who is very bad <laughs> at taking care of myself, that you got some inspiration or some ideas of things that you might want to explore to give yourself a little more love. And if you have some other things that you've been doing regularly, I love to hear from you. You can always send me a DM on social media or reach out in any platform that you wish. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Have a good day and the rest of the week. See you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.